You better buckle your seats. Let's go! Come on in! Good morning, Sally B. Howard School for the Arts. Here at Sally B. Howard, we believe that reading is paramount. Reading is very important, children. Reading is the key to life. So, as we say that, our class here at Mr. Joseph World, we read this special book written by a special lady, Miss Sally B. Howard. Now, the school is named after her, not just for any reason, but because she was, she had a vision, she had a dream that the kids here in Wilson County will have the, uh, uh, the ability to read, but also have the opportunity to read facts and information that has never been shown across the world, never heard of. These books right here are collector items. So, as I've been here at the school, Miss Dr. Woodard told me that a lot of teachers have not used these resources, they have not used these books, and our kids really need to understand and know where they came from. So I had to pick up a book and read. And as I did, I had to get my kids to read. So let's go on Mr. Joseph World and see how Miss Hop Sally B. Howard has blessed us with this information. And God was the first great empire in West Africa. Every time the king walked by, most people put the bow down and put their hands in this and put it on their head and other people should just clap. No one knew the borders of ancient Ghana, the ancient kingdom of Ghana. The Sissy clan ruled the Sonic clan. People from Morocco are called Moors and the village of Nuk is now northern Nigeria. All the information we got in our textbooks we got it from the People that the Negro scholars, the ones they used to study, and the travelers that they went to Ghana. My name is Noah, and the Saliki people spoke a language called Mande. And when the people of Ghana saw their king, they were they were bowed down and put hands on their head. And I learned that the king in Ghana had dressed in silk and gold. And nobody knows for sure how they um, started making iron. And I have learned that in Ghana they use more iron than silver and gold. My mother loves art. See those three on the wall over there? That's the problem. Yeah, oh, that's uh, the first one in Virginia. The second one I can't see. I love the blue red. Uh, one is Vermont and one might be Long Island. Okay. Hey, hey, chill it uh, out. Uh, <laughs> hey, girl, you look good. And everybody's just shy there in the school. Yeah, I love a lot of guys. You told me you were coming? To me. Yeah, 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 I told him that you, you, you might go there. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah, they are going to receive you. We're going to go to lunch. Okay. Yeah. We're going to go to the diner, man. Sounds good. Teachers, inspire us, kid, today. Inspire them. <laughs> it's more important than knowledge. <laughs> it's for them to love what they're studying, what they're pursuing. They have to have a passion for it. Oh, yeah. Not just knowledge. 
That's fire. We light a fire under the rear end. Okay. But they love it like I love mine. Look at that garbage, man. <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> you know how to measure. You know what the secret is. Geometry and proportion. Uh, Association. Yeah. What's below what? What's left of what? What's right of right? Comparison and record. <laughs> no excuse. Uh, uh, the secret is drawing. <laughs> Don't stop drawing or you're dead. <laughs> if you stop drawing, you're in the wrong field. <laughs> you breathe to stay alive, you draw to stay alive. That's it, period. Oh, okay. That's advice from Mr. B. Alright. I want to see them sketchbooks, I want to get mad. I know it already. You know. <laughs> you guys, I love you. I never forgot you. Never. <laughs> you're my life. You're my life.